he has braved gunfire to report from some of the world's most treacherous regions. But now the BBC's Quentin Sumville has revealed how he fell victim to an unexpected hazard, a pile of burning narcotics. In a video posted online on Monday, entitled Don't Inhale, the BBC's Middle East correspondent appears to be getting high on the burning drugs as he tries and repeatedly fails to deliver his lines to camera before collapsing into laughter. Burning behind me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish and other narcotics, Mr. Sumville begins, before emitting a high-pitched giggle. Burning behind me. He begins a second clip before again collapsing into laughter or coursing, as it is known by broadcasters. In a third clip he is seen imploring his cameraman quick, quick. We just need one more but appears incapable of saying anything further with both men descending into giggles. Mr. Sumville posted the footage online to his 24,000 Twitter follows with the message, Dear Tweeps, it's been a year of bullets and bloodshed. You've earned a Christmas laugh, at my expense. He later deleted the footage, apparently due to copyright issues, before copies of it emerged elsewhere online. A spokesman for the BBC said, the video of Quentin coursing, which has now been deleted, was posted in the spirit of a blooper. It was filmed four years ago, it hasn't been seen before and was never broadcast. The BBC did not confirm further details of where the video was recorded. Mr. Sumville, who is based in Jerusalem, has reported from some of the most harrowing and dangerous parts of the Middle East, including Iraq. Afghanistan, Gaza and Egypt during the violent protests. Earlier this month he was filmed addressing the camera and faced as his convoy came under fire from snipers on its way towards Iraq's Bji oil refinery, which had just been reclaimed by Iraqi government forces after being captured by Islamic State militants. Mr. Sumville also entertained his online followers with a picture of the contents of his suitcase including Tanox tea cakes. Earl Grey tea and Christmas baubles. I'm often asked by celebrity magazines, etc., what I pack for my travels in war zones. Strictly essentials, he wrote. Clips of journalists coursing on air have become celebrated by fans, with perhaps the best known being news reader Charlotte Green collapsing into hysterics during BBC Radio 4's flagship Today programme in 2008. MS Green known for her usually unflappable style, was unable to continue speaking following the airing of a clip of the oldest known recording of the human voice, a 1860 clip of a woman singing Eau Claire de la Lune.